coming up on this holiday special of Equal Vision News, we take you behind the scenes of Bio's Christmas tree lighting. And one of our reporters talks about their experience at Deck the Haven. Plus, we share with you the trendiest Christmas looks out this year. All this and more coming up on, on Eagle, Eagle Vision, Vision News. News. Welcome to our final episode of Eagle Vision News. I'm Aisha Lee. And I'm Hannah Miller. Before we begin our holiday special and final episode, here are our top stories for today. Former President George H.W. Bush has passed away at age 94. Bush, who served as the country's 41st president from 1989 to 1993, passed away Friday, November 30th. The former president's casket was taken to St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Houston, where 12,000 mourners paid their respects. After a private ceremony of 1,200 guests, the president's casket was carried by motorcade to Union Pacific Railroad Westfield Auto Facility. A train painted the colors of the Air Force One aircraft during Bush's presidency, transported his casket to College Station, where he would be buried beside his beloved wife, Barbara, and daughter, Robin. Following the heavy rains, mudslides caused PCH to close for hours. Both directions of PCH from Bush Drive to the Los Angeles County Line were shut down. The Malibu Park neighborhood, where 40 houses burned down from the fire, was heavily impacted by the rain. Crews with Public Works worked to clear mudslides in the area. Multiple mudslides are combining as they flow out of one property and link up with other mudslides. And the mud flow has also crashed into a vehicle and the driver had to be rescued from the vehicle, which remained trapped in the thick mud. Parts of Malibu are experiencing power outages because of the Woolsey fire and the mudslides and rain are causing even more of a delay to the restoration. To kick off our holiday special here on Eagle Vision, we're going to do our own little mm -hmm. tree lighting ceremony. So here's our tree, and I hope you can see this. Um, what, should we do a countdown? Yeah, Does that sound good? It. Okay, let's ready? Three, two, two one. one. Woo! Yeah! Yay! Okay, <laughs> if you can't see it, the little star right here is all lit up, and it's really cute. How so. beautiful. So festive. <laughs> and Biola's annual Christmas tree lighting is the much-anticipated event of the year, and our reporter Joel Asher was there to tell us more. Biola kicked off their annual tree lighting with a bang on the night of November 31st with a joyous occasion on Metzger Lawn. The night featured the first annual Christmas marketplace that was set up along the Sutherland Strip. Alumni and businesses with connections to Biola came to sell their goods and give back to the Biola community. So these are all Biola affiliated businesses. So some of them are alumni, some of them are parents, some of them are just local to uh, Biola. Um, and all of them are giving 5% back to Biola um, of their profits today. A band played traditional Christmas carols that the crowd could sing along to as they enjoyed the night. In addition to the singing, President Barry Corey, as well as other executives, spoke on the true meaning of Christmas and the history of the Biola tree lighting. Those in attendance received battery-powered candles to light up the crowd before the countdown to the tree lighting. When the big moment finally came, the tree was lit and fake snow began to fall from the sky, a Biola tree lighting tradition. I love it when the tree lights up. I am on campus literally every day and I've been thinking like, oh, I wish it was lit up, especially when I'm leaving work and it's dark, but now it's lit, so that's the best part about it. The tree wasn't just lit for the one night of the tree lighting. It will stay lit through the month of December and will serve as an encouragement for students during finals week. Um, you know, I love it. It's really like festive and gets us in the mood for Christmas and makes me really excited to go home and spend time with my family. This has been Joel Asher reporting for Eagle Vision News. The Christmas season means getting into that Christmas spirit, and what better way than keeping up with the latest holiday trends? Our reporter Bobby Terrell is here with us to share us all the trends. Thanks, Asia. Your outfit look is always something to consider, especially when all of your family is in town for Christmas. The Christmas lights and ribbons have been up for a while, helping the house to feel a lot like Christmas, but what about your wardrobe? Wearing pieces that pop or that have plaid are a must for the holiday season, as it is the perfect excuse to be a little extra with your selections. Wearing colors like deep reds and greens go a long way for classier looks. And please, don't forget about the family pajama sets that you can wear and take great photos in. The Grinch stole Christmas, but you must go and steal a deal, of course, on the trendy fuzzy sweaters this season to complete your Christmas wardrobe. Everyone shows off their Christmas looks in their homes. The White House family was no exception to the rule. Christmas at the White House is glam and glitz with the elegant color white draped all over one of the rooms through the form of lights and even roses. The Red Room at the White House kept true to its name, 
as it housed decorations dripping in luscious reds. First Lady Melania Trump shared that the room is reflective of the Be Best campaign, which focuses on the well-being for youth and advocating against cyberbullying. There is an abundance of Christmas trees to be seen with one of them wearing a royal blue ribbon that represents each of the 50 states of America. With glitter, shades of red, and hues of blue, the White House made clear that behind those white walls are plenty of colors to spread Christmas cheer. Christmas bucket lists don't have to break your bank, and exciting activities can be local. Right after everyone threw out the Thanksgiving leftovers, people started planning for Christmas. Activities like ice skating at local skating rinks, indoor or outdoor, can be fun and expensive ways to get into the spirit. If funds are really low, doing something simple, like taking photos with friends and family, will help to create memories that are just as lasting. And if you want to get a little crazy, you can drive up to the mountains for a day or two to enjoy beautiful Big Bear with activities like sledding and escaping sunny SoCal for some time in the snow with loved ones. So I love how festive we look right now. We're wearing you red. guys are repping the I, red. It wasn't planned. Yeah, I kind of showed up and I, oh, okay, twins. It was fine. <laughs> I know, but I love it. It's so cute. I do too. We're totally getting into that Christmas mm -hmm. spirit, which I love it. I get so excited about. <laughs> You're making me excited. <laughs> yeah. Well, the highly anticipated Deck the Haven event allows Biola students to further get into that Christmas spirit. Our reporter Jessica Brest was there behind the scenes to tell us more. Deck the Haven came to Biola's campus on Thursday and faced new challenges this year after unexpected rain the week of the event. The rain made preparations difficult, but the men of Hart Hall successfully kept this Biola tradition alive. This year, Deck the Haven offered seven rooms for guests to experience, including an escape room called Escape from Santa's Office, a Back to the Future room, and even a Magic Mike themed room. One of the experiences at Deck the Haven is a personal meet and greet with Bob Ross, Mr. Rogers, and Steve Irwin, where students can learn how to make artwork like this painting here. Outside of the rooms, guests played a round of blackjack while waiting in line, participated in a hula competition where the winner received a gallon of Hawaiian punch, and ate lots of cookies. Upon arrival, every guest received a ticket which automatically entered them into a raffle. The winner was announced halfway through the night. I rarely win raffles, so this was pretty exciting, and this is my first deck the Haven, so it's exciting winning this basket here. Over a thousand students attended Deck the Haven this year, but some students noticed a difference from years past. I've heard a lot of things from last year that it was super packed, but I think because of the rain and the weather, we didn't get as big of a turnout, but I think we do what we do best, so we're making the most of it and having a good time. In previous years, Deck the Haven has been located in Hart Hall but had to move outside after the school deemed the event a fire hazard. Despite this, students were glad to keep their Christmas fun. This has been Jessica Brest reporting for Eagle Vision News. So have you guys gone to Deck the Haven yet? I actually went last year. Um, I was in the Ghostbusters room, and that was pretty fun. Oh, nice. A lot okay. of people came to that one, but mm -hmm. I didn't get to go this year. Mm. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't go this year as well. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I have not gone to it either, but <laughs> okay. I heard there was a lot of lively music mm -hmm. and bands. Um, and Christmas bells aren't the only sounds we're hearing. Wedding bells were ringing for certain celebrities, and our reporter Pre Christian is here to tell us more. Thank you. Singer Nick Jonas and Bollywood star Priyanka Chopra tied the knot in a five-day celebration. The couple married on December 1st in Chopra's home country of India. In this five-day celebration, the couple had many events planned. Before both wedding ceremonies, Priyanka had the traditional Indian mendi done, along with the traditional Sangeet celebration. The wedding weekend consisted of a Christian wedding where both Jonas and Chopra rocked Ralph Lauren, as well as a traditional Hindu wedding at the Umaid Bhawan Palace in Jodhpur, Rajasthan. The Grammy nominations are here and many musical artists are ecstatic about what they have been nominated for. Rap artists Kendrick Lamar and Drake lead the Grammys with the most nominations, eight and seven. Rappers Cardi B and Post Malone were also nominated for Record of the Year and Album of the Year, respectively. Female artists dominated top categories this year. Janelle Monet was nominated for her single, Dirty Computer, and was brought to tears after hearing that she was nominated. And 2019 has several movies lined up for viewers. Having been announced in the past year, many anticipated movies have released trailers and dates for when they will be showing. Last Friday, the Russo brothers announced the name of the next Avengers movie, Endgame, and released a trailer. The Toy Story franchise continues with the release of Toy Story 4. Disney also has a live-action Aladdin lined up and the live-action Lion King. Catch these all in a movie theater near you. So, what do you guys think of the new uh, Lion King movie coming out? When I saw that trailer, I was just like so ecstatic about it because like the like animation and like the live action now are just so like 
different, but it's gonna like make the movie so great. Yeah, yeah. it seems yeah. to be like a new trend that Disney is doing is they're making, you know, these live action slash animated movies out of like the old movies, which yeah. I think is really interesting. And I know for one thing, Viola students love yeah, Disney. They, I, love they Disney. can't get enough. I like. I know so many people who are going to Disneyland every single day. Even you, me, <laughs> Pre, yeah, <laughs> you. <laughs> and you may be wondering how fellow Bilo students are getting into that Christmas spirit. And our reporter Quinn Gorham dressed as someone you may recognize and asked students what their Christmas plans are this year. Hey guys, Santa here, filling in for Quinn. I'm here on Biola's campus asking students what they want for Christmas and maybe giving them something a little special along the way. First off, let me ask you guys, do you guys believe in Santa? No. No. <laughs> Hayden, what do you want for Christmas this year? I um, love a coffee maker. I want um, an internship this summer is what I'd want. Um, that's a good question. I'd like a Volkswagen Beetle, please. You guys are asking for some very expensive things. More than anything, I'd like cash. Honestly, just the gift of being back with my family would be enough for me at this point. Yeah, just have to go home. Well, we'll see what Santa can do about that one, but in the meantime, I have some gifts for you. Don't wait. Just hey. take, take one of those. There's a lot of them in here. Wait, Santa, this is awesome. Yeah. Here, have some self-stick gems. Why, oh, thank you. A brand new toothbrush. A whole new one? It's not yeah, used. I'm gonna, how about some two-prong to three-prong adapters for your wall outlets? Okay, I'll take what I can get. All right, guys, I had a great time bringing some Christmas cheer to Biola's campus. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Santa Claus for Eagle Vision News. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, it's really fun to see what all of our fellow Biola students are planning mm -hmm. to do this Christmas break. Um, what are you planning on doing? Um, I think I'm just going to, usually every other year, I'll travel to Arizona where I have some family living there. And, but yeah. this year we're staying home. And I'm really excited about that because I love being home for Christmas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think some family are going to come, I think, the day after Christmas. And we're going to oh. just have, like, a big lunch. It's going to be really nice. fun. Yeah. yeah, my family's coming here. And I think we're planning on going to, like, Disneyland or something. I'm so jealous. But, yeah, yeah, like, oh, theme so parks, fun. like, you know, across the country mm -hmm. are all decked out for the Christmas season, including Universal Studios. And our reporter, Jocelyn Mesa, was there to share with us her experience at Universal. Hey, this is Jocelyn here. We just parked at Universal Studios in the E.T. parking section. Final photo for now. We're going to be heading back to the paddock for a quick feeding. Ah! So we're going to go back in the park right now. We just ate, and it's about what time is it? Four o'clock. It's getting darker soon, so hopefully we'll be able to see some Christmas lights. So that's going to be super fun. The line for the studio tour, and we're not sure if it's going to actually be on by the time we get on. So it's not that good. So Jim Carrey, eight hours to be fully dressed as the Grinch. There's a green light on me, but I'm not the Grinch, but we decided to um, take a visit to Kuhville. Look how big that tree is! We're heading out, because everyone else is leaving, but we're enjoying the lights right now and the Christmas music. Although it's a little chilly outside, it's the perfect time of year to walk around and do a little bit of holiday shopping. Our reporter Seth Supt is here to tell us why. Thanks guys, behind me is a beautiful shot of the Grove Mall in Los Angeles, a great place to start your shopping for the holiday season for family and friends. But we know that we've dealt with some rain and some cold conditions here in the last couple of weeks. And so a little bit later on in the weather forecast, we're gonna be telling you a little bit about that and whether you should be shopping at an indoor or maybe an outdoor mall in the next couple of weeks. But for right now, looking at our T uh, temperatures for today. Uh, a couple of things of note, 76 today in the afternoon. Probably going to be our warmest day left in 2018, so really kind of want to take advantage of those warmer days left, as well as the sunset, 4.50 p.m. We're probably not going to be seeing much of the sun past 5 p.m. for the rest of the year, so just kind of kind of embrace those colder nights. 
So now looking on to our national forecast, we see a big story come out of Charleston, North and South Carolina area. Uh, big uh, winter storm Diego has been hitting that area pretty hard, uh, sending a lot of people without power um, due to some heavy rain, snow, and wind. Uh, but now that storm kind of moving throughout this entire central area, spreading out a bit for some lighter rain. But by Sunday, we're gonna see it spread to the entire East Coast. So so a little bit lighter, not as much as the Carolinas has had to deal with, but still definitely something to take note of. Now moving on to our seven day forecast, you can see pretty similar, 70, 67, 75 degrees. Once again, one of those warmer days that we want to take note of, but heading into the weekend, Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday and Monday, a bit of cloud cover, but no rain to speak of. So if outdoor malls are really your thing when it comes to shopping, definitely feel free and do that. Just might want to not go a little bit later on in the day as you can see those lows 49 52 and 50 so just a bit chillier but overall a beautiful week straight ahead of us back to you guys at the desk thanks Seth well that's all we have for you on this season of Eagle Vision and we just want to give a special thanks to all of our reporters and our producer Kendall this has been an amazing season of Eagle Vision news we want to thank you guys round of applause yes. Yes. But be sure to continue following us on Facebook, Twitter, and, and Instagram, and YouTube. But that's all that we have for you today, and we'll see you next time on... Eagle Vision! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Take a, have a happy, take a happy, take a happy with you, and happy news, happy news.